Today I will explain you three topics, three letters from the camera alphabet. Aperture, A, B for B-roll and C for... I'm going to a friend and client and once. The company is called Boost Park. have to do some... Here we go again. Okay. Um, we have to go to the company Boost Parts, making some product shots that we are missing of an engine. He's also a friend of mine. And there I will explain you three topics, three letters from the camera alphabet. Aperture, A, B for B-roll and C for cards like SD cards in three minutes. See you there. Boom. Okay, guys. We arrived. Oh. Sweet. Looks hey. good. Okay, guys. This is the engine. This is the camera I use. It's the Canon ESR with the 24 105 uh, aperture 4. We need to take some photos and I can explain you with that what is Aperture doing with photos, taking them good footage. See you later. Okay, after clean, cleaning the wet floor, I can start. Okay, take a look. Okay, um, now we saw a lot of pretty cool pictures. For example, this one was shot with uh, aperture 4 and one time with aperture 13. So you see that the picture is uh, more sharp or more, more details to show with a higher aperture instead of low aperture. But the low aperture picture looks more, um, I would say, Interesting. Okay guys, let me explain you. Aperture, B for B-roll, and C, card, like SD card. Aperture is probably pretty easy to tell you that it means you can decide how sharp in which position your picture is. Like for example, in the middle of the picture you're shooting the objective or the person is sharp and you can de decide how much of the person is sharp. The eyes, the lips or also the nose, the picky nose. At the low aperture already the nose can be out of focus when the eyes are pretty sharp. At the high aperture a lot of things in the background and you in the foreground is sharp. But the problem with high aperture is you get a much darker image. Now, B-roll. What means B-roll? Take a part of all things around you. What's happening like you're cooking a coffee. For example, I'll show you now a B-roll sequence with the engine. And the last but important part is SD cards. Why, it's, why are SD cards so important? You need fast. You need a fast SD card. See, like SD card. Why? For bursting some shit of you. That means faster SD cards is helping you a lot of for taking a lot of photos. For example, when you're at a 
Formula One race day. And if you're seeing fast cars passing you, you would be pretty sad if you're missing one shot. So fast SD cards can do something like this. Pretty, pretty fast photos and a lot of photos. So, never mind. This war First three letters like A for aperture, B bureau, C cards, like SD cards. Short, easy and that's it. Guys, if you like this video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to this channel and please click on the notification bell to never miss new videos on this channel. Don't forget to view my Instagram, leave a like on my Instagram. And I wish you a very good day and thank you for watching this video. See you soon, see you next time. You know.